Hallelujah. Just sit down and relax and sing songs to the Lord. And then I feel more and more peaceful. And then I found that my negative emotions will go away. Some people have deep habits of negative thinking emotions. Always say it's hopeless, it's useless, people don't like me, people don't love God. It's too difficult. Many people always think like that. And they think God is not helping them. Many people, uh, they, in the belief, they say, <clears throat> I believe God is helping us. But actually, they think that God is not, uh, you know, God's help is too slow. God is not really helping me all the time. And God doesn't really have a wonderful plan. Now the wonderful plan of God is first is uh, presented in the Bible. The Bible teaches us that God all the days of our life has been written in His book. That is uh, written in the Bible. But also when we look at our lives, when we uh, look at how God has worked in our lives, we can see God's plan in our lives. And then we can build up our faith when we count all the blessings in our lives. But some people, because they don't obey God, they have a lot of difficulties in the family when they have fights and yelling and uh, the ministry is not fruitful because they're always under pressure it's always giving uh, pressure to people to motivate people to change instead of giving pressure to people we can motivate them with the grace of God God loves you God has a wonderful plan in your life and when you follow God and love God God will bless you more and more and your life will go higher and higher and God will remember you and bless you and and give you rewards and he will use you greatly so we always want to give people hope and joy and reason to be joyful in the Lord and give grace bring the grace of God to people but some people they're under pressure themselves and they give people pressure. They give the spouse pressure. They say, you're not treating me well. You're, you're not uh, cooking well. You're yelling at me. Uh, you don't listen to me. You don't love me. And sometimes they don't say it. But in the heart they say, uh, they say, this other young girls treat me nicer than you. Now, this is very serious. Because then we start, then the people can start to trust in other girls. So we want to say, we want to count the blessings and then respond to our wife so that they will see that we care about them. And then the wife also learns to respond to us with love and care and humility and, and uh, submission. And then we love them as Christ loves the church. And then we build up the relationship. And then there is positive thinking all the time. In the family, we want to always give people positive thinking. It's always joyful and hopeful. I always tell my wife, I love you, I care about you, I'm happy to see you, I'm, hap I'm happy to be with you, I'm happy to do anything for you. I always tell her that and I always do those things. And she's very confident with me. She feels very com uh, she feel great comfort and she's confident uh, of me that she knows that I love her all the time. So then I don't give the devil a foothold then I don't give the devil a foothold to attack me. And then in my life is all positive. I try to build up positive relationship with people. I always treat people nicely. I always nice to people. That way, then I have nice responses from people and then I can enjoy life more. Then I don't live in negative thinking and emotions. But I've known people, even you know, Christians and even pastors, they are negative, they are unhappy, they, they complain, they worry. And then what happens is they lose strength. Okay? So, now is there any... You send the questions to this leader group. The leader group is how you communicate with me. Okay? It's always the leader's group. If you have questions, you send it here and then I will respond to you. So does anyone have questions? Okay, if not, we'll have, uh, now you can respond to me. Should I continue for 10 minutes and then stop or should I stop now? I can, uh, I think there's no time to go any further. 
uh, but I can explain more, uh, apply it more. For instance, in some family, um, the relationship has been bad already. The husband and the wife yell at each other and then they dislike each other. They, uh, they always say negative words and then how can you build up positive thinking and positive emotions in a family like that? Or the children are disobedient. So the whole family is full of negative emotions and negative words. So how can we change it? Um, first, we want to have hope in God. We believe that God can heal a family, even very problematic uh, family. God can bring healing. So first we believe in God and come to God for prayer, for strength. Lord, you can heal our family. Now, uh, it's very important for every person that our family life, our personal life, and our relationship with God and our ministry is all positive. So any area when it's negative, we want to first have faith in God. God can heal. And then we want to forgive our spouse and our children for what they do wrong. If they have uh, uh, done things wrong or they continue to do things wrong, we want to forgive them. And we want to repent of our sins of being negative and, and uh, emotional. We want to repent and ask God to forgive us so that we start to be nice to them. Even when they are not nice to us, we want to be nice to them. And then when people are emotional, sometimes it's best to just calm down. If they cannot manage it right away, maybe it's better to walk away at that moment and calm down and pray before they come together. And then it's very important to accept each other and listen to each other. If the spouse feel unhappy about certain things, we listen to them. We don't force them to change. We listen to them and understand their needs and their problems. We understand the problem and then we say, uh, I, I know that uh, it's unhappy for you now. I understand that uh, it's difficult for you now. I, and then we um, and then we uh, listen to them and then we try to resolve the problem. We talk gently, we guide them guide them to find solutions. We, we want to say, okay, uh, we have not been having good communication. Let's try to talk positively. Uh, now I have talked about words of grace and how to speak words of grace. Like, uh, I love you. I care about you. You're important. Uh, you're precious. You're, God loves you. God has a wonderful plan in your life. These are words of grace. And then we need to also say words of the law gently we can say please help me with this work let us clean the house let us do this together let us have better communication can we have better communication using questions can we have better communication how can we communicate better so to overcome the problems because when there are problems that are not solved then the negative thinking and emotions will continue so we want to be able to handle our negative, the, the problems, the problematic relationship. Uh, if it, there is any problem, we want to face it and listen to the other person and then talk about it and try to uh, overcome it together. Then we can start to choose to have positive thinking and positive emotions and positive words. It's very important to speak positive words. They always say, there's hope. There's always a way to resolve it. And um, for instance, right now, my wife is facing some difficulty in her uh, job in the school, not herself. It's some difficulty in the school. And then uh, I, I support her all the time. I say, God is with you. I'm with you. I'm ready to do anything for you. If I can do anything to help you, I'm happy to do that. And I also let her know that uh, she, Jesus cares about her problems she's facing. So when she's facing the problem, she can say, Lord, 
you are helping me you have a plan to solve this problem please give me strength guide me how to de make decisions guide me how to resolve solve the problems how to overcome these problems so God is always there to help us so when we trust in God's help then we can have strength and peace and joy but many people when they face difficulties they worry and they complain and they are not happy so I hope we all um, will think positively and then we can speak positively and then we can have feelings uh, in positive ways okay so I hope uh, we all need to take care of problems in our life of problems in the uh, marriage in the family in the ministry in how we relate to people we don't suppress people we don't pressure people we want to love them care for them show the love of God you know Jesus motivates his disciples to change not by pressure not to pressure them to obey but to tell them the grace of God and love them and care about them even when Peter was about to deny him three times Jesus did not say shame on you it's terrible that you're gonna deny me three times but Jesus said I pray for you that you will not lose your faith and then when you are strength when you are uh, restore strengthen your brother so Jesus always give hope to people so I hope we all give hope to people always speak positively then we develop a positive relationship and positive environment around us and in the church we always we want to be positive everyone to be thanking God and appreciating each other you're wonderful you're doing well uh, uh, you uh, I appreciate what you've done for God It's wonderful so whenever we see people are doing well we want to praise God for these people and want to appreciate them and motivate them and help them and be with them then we we'll build up the relationship a positive relationship so I hope you know all this work together if one area has problem then it will create negative thinking and emotions any problem we need to resolve now sometimes other people don't cooperate we change ourselves and then if they don't cooperate we change ourselves and then we learn not to be affected by them and uh, so that we continue to be positive and then gradually we can change them and then if a co-worker continues sin without repentance then now first we want to uh, speak gently to them and guide them now, actually all the way we want to speak gently to them and guide them to repentance we uh, accept them and forgive them and pray for them but if people continue to persistently sin for instance uh, they chase after girls and they steal money and they don't repent then we have to take actions of discipline and if the person doesn't repent then he cannot be a uh, serving God anymore until they repent and really uh, show himself to be fruitful because people like that in a church can destroy the ministry and will bring negative effect to the ministry so if people are very negative all the time they should not be ministers they should not be serving God they should be minister to, to help them to think positively so if the whole church the people in the whole church are thinking positively always hopeful in God always trusting God and obey God and love people and care about people then there will be a positive atmosphere then it's easier to have a positive have positive thinking and emotions but if there are different kinds of problem for instance the pastor doesn't listen to people just do things his own way and doesn't care for the people and then people are selfish and they fight against each other that is very difficult to have positive thinking and emotions so all this need to be taken care of we need to uh, take care of different problems we have to untangle the problem and see where the source uh, of problem comf comes from so we have to have the positive thinking in God that he will s resolve the problem positive emotions to handle problems so that we can face this problem and overcome it with the help of God okay so if you have problems please write down the questions <coughs> in a group uh, the group of 
uh, leaders. <clears throat> so all the other pastors, if you have questions, you send it to the leaders. The leaders will send it to me here, okay? And then in one hour's time, uh, so you have lunch and I'll have uh, dinner too. And then in one hour time, we'll come back again, okay? So if you have problem, uh, questions, you can ask me, okay? God bless you. I hope you can apply this. And uh, you can send to me. Actually, every time I start to speak, you can say, I can hear you, I can see you. So I hope you can send to me simple messages and say, I can see you, I can hear you clearly. Then, then I know that is, uh, uh, online is it's going, uh, doing well. Okay, God bless you. God be with you and t clear your past negative thinking and negative emotions. Lord, give us strength. God, give us peace in you. <clears throat> give us your love and joy and wisdom to handle our negative thinking and emotions. Help us to relax in God, trust in God. Help us not to live in pressure. Help us to live in the love of God, to rejoice in the Lord, to enjoy God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you. You're wonderful. God is wonderful. God is always helpful. God always cares about us. God always helps us to overcome a problem. Thank you, Lord. Please comfort your people. Give us strength and peace. Be with us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.